Imposter. Well, that doesn't sound right. Leaving his troops behind, Merrick chases Joey deep into the forest of Inzum and finds himself alone. This is just the chance the Black Dragon Squad has been waiting for, but Merrick's not ready to give up yet. We can bring everybody, we might as well bring everybody. Alright, here we go straight into Imposter. Hey Merrick, this is the end of the line. It's time you taste the pain you've inflicted on so many others. Ha! <laughs> I'll say this for you. It was a pretty good plan for a bunch of small time thieves like you. But you must be running low on brain power if you think you stand a chance against me. Ha <laughs> ha! See, can you hear it yet? Do you hear the heartbeat of the Great One? We can all look forward to an eternity of never ending pain now! He's almost here. Ha ha ha! Merrick Ishtar is no more, I am now Melvin. <laughs> Merrick is wiped out by Joey is our victory, and Joey is wiped out is our loss. Oh no. Whatever will we do? Is that really? Hold on. Is this really all this campaign is? Like, this mission? Just, just go. I mean, I'm gonna send my out this way a bit. My, go ahead and take the castle. And, uh... We'll be brave. Balls to the wall, even. Send Joey. Let's go. <laughs> Joey, be slow enough. Let the others get to the, uh... Castles. I mean, there's no monsters to unlock here in this mission, but uh, it's a big fight still. Joey, why don't you just hang out for just a second while everybody gets in position? Everybody takes up the positions, gets us a little bit more extra gold. A Rubat, Rud, Rudban was liberated, and Bertos was liberated. And Saxos was liberated. You're just making shit up now. I mean, there, there's, there is no actual play. Like, why are these things named these things? Oh, hi. Ha ha ha! You can never defeat me, and I'll tell you why. Because I know the Great One is real, and he's on my side. That's what he promised me, and that's what I get. Ultimate power. Behold. The Great Ultimate Mega Chicken! I mean, Wing Dragon of Ra! Wing Dragon of Ra, please hear my. Oh god, I forgot how the actual phrasing works! Please hear my cry? I don't know. Please hear my plea? Something like that. Spoilers, we're fighting Ra! We get it, it's Ra! Can we get it? Out? Oh, fuck. It's a level 99 Wing Dragon of Ra at that. Hi! I'll just... Fight. You know, Ra is like my least favorite of the three Egyptian god monsters. He may be the most powerful, but he's also the dumbest looking. I mean, he looks like... If you ever saw, uh, what is that movie? Gods of Egypt. He looks like the, the ability, like uh, the, the CGI of that movie, which wasn't great. And it's just like, yeah, this is what ancient Egyptians look like, sure. So, problem. Joey's not equipped for this. We're gonna die. Maybe. Just maybe. We might live. If he doesn't target Flame Swordsman again. And keeps using Almighty Blaze Cannon instead of his special ability. I can't tell, is that aimed at Panther Warrior? I hope it was. 
Oh good, it was. Still not great though. And just don't crit, Ra, whatever you do. Don't crit. And everything will be fine. Just gonna do that ram the village just in case. You know, just just in case. And Flame Swordsman is our um healer of sorts. If if somebody dies, he's able to bring them back. Like Black Panther hair might. Panther Warrior. Okay. Time for that red medicine, boy. So, Ra. You're just gonna keep using the same old moves, eh? Not gonna use a special. I mean, not that I'm complaining. I'm really not. I really like that you're not using any special moves that to target all three monsters of mine. Almighty Blaze Cannon for the win, right? You just. You keep doing you. I'll keep doing me and I'll kill you. Hopefully. That's, that's the goal, right? Yeah, yeah. You do that. Like five more attacks and I win. Make that like three. Maybe two. If I'm lucky. Going balls to the wall. Okay, that was a little bit less than ideal. Oh my god, one more attack. You can't kill me in this one attack, but I can kill you in my next attack, so go ahead. Oh, wait, no, that's Almighty Blaze, no, that's a three, oh, fuck, that's a three, three, three monster attack. He finally decided to smarten up at the very end, and still didn't kill anybody. Had me worried there, but he still didn't kill anybody. And then he died. The last of the Egyptian gods and the weakest of them, ultimately. In the card game, he's supposedly supposed to be the strongest one of them because of all of his superpowers that he's fucking got. But, uh, Rassix then was liberated and. No, I've been tricked! None of it was true! What a joke, my great one! It is nothing more than a cheap imitation! Eh, Merrick? Go ahead, laugh! What a fool I've been! Leave me, go and le live life. At least until the real great one really does come. Right. Hey look, I got this eye thing. The eye or eye? What does that even do? I don't know. That was a short mission though. So we can go straight into an invincible Imperial God, the final mission, you know, cause there's still another mission. We got the Egyptian God, but we get to use it now. News of Joey's victory over Ishtar, over Merrick soon spread to every corner of the Empire, even though we never hear about it during Yugi's campaign. After, you know, that comes for, I mean, this here is a prequel to Yugi's campaign, and doesn't make any sense why nobody would have mentioned it in Yugi's campaign, and how Joy doesn't have the winged dragon of Ra. Heartened by his success, resistance fighters continued to pledge themselves to his cause and vowed to fight with him. But the Empire was not content to let this movement go unchallenged. To hunt down the Black Dragon Squad, Emperor Hashin decided to send his own Invincible Imperial Guard. A confident Joey decides to face this new enemy head on, but if he only... Or if he had only known who was coming. Keep quiet about it. That's damn right. So, uh... Joey is a constructor? Huh. So I can't use it then. That's interesting that they give you another mission then when you can't use the orb. Because if I go in here, replace this, just go down to the Eye of Ra. When used by Martial Master of the Egyptian God, uh, Egyptian Gods, it summons the Winged Dragon of Ra. But Joey's not the master of an Egyptian God, he's a constructor. So, sorry Joe! No raw for you, but maybe you will have fun using it. As for us, we get to face down our final opponent for this campaign. And can lock our last monsters. <laughs> for a bunch of adverse duelists, you've got done quite well for yourselves. But that's about to end. Even in this bizarro world, you are no match for me. Eh, yeah, what did you say? You're gonna eat those words. 
I just, what the heck are you doing it? Fighting for the Empire, you jerk. Or ridiculous as it may be, this seems to be the role I've been assigned. So until I find a way to end this nightmare, I'm gonna play along with the idiot that came up with this story. Oh well, wait, that idiot was me. I developed this game, after all. Besides, you've always wanted to face me in a duel, little Joey, haven't you? It might prove quite interesting to do it here, don't you think? So get in character and face me. If you've got any pride at all, that is. You know what? I've never liked you. I'm gonna enjoy stuffing that huge ego of yours down your throat. Alright. We win by freeing Meriaden. We lose by Joey uh, losing, or we lose Rumapan. Alright. So, Tristan, go there. Taya, go there. Nope. Taya, go there. Barricade and healer. And our forces need to go north. Come on, boys, go north. Go north, young Jessel. Or old Jessel. Meanwhile, Mokuba, Marthas, and four marshals. Oh boy. Hello. We're being attacked by roaming monsters. Yes, yes, we are. Prepare yourselves. We finally get to unlock Kazajin of Wind, Skull Knight of Nobody Gives a Shit, and Pump King, the only reason that Bones exists in this game. <laughs> but to complete my zombie set, I'll have Armored Zombie, Zombie Dragon, and Pump King, the King of Ghosts. It's the only reason that Pump King is even in here. He fills out my bones is up. He fills out bones' army perfectly. <laughs> and they're all going to be dead. Oh, you've got a triple attack of your own, do you? Didn't do enough damage. You're still gonna die. It's a valiant effort, but not good enough. And a crit for the last shot. Perfect. Hooray! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Let's see what we got. Skull Knight has joined your army. Kazijin has joined your army. And Pump King, the King of Ghosts, has joined my army. Okay, everybody, I think I think everybody's coming to kill Kaiba, huh? Or coming from Kaiba to kill me, huh? Kill Joey. Really wants Joey dead, right? Well, too bad. You're gonna have to go through my and Nokuba in order to do it. Hey, look, Nokuba. If I had put Nokuba first, he could have fought himself. Or his counterpart. Well, here comes a whole fuck fest of just pressing Z over and over again. Because <laughs> that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be the harpies just destroying everybody. Oh no, you've blinded me with that spectral mist. It's, it's a good thing I'm not gonna use their actual attacks, but just keep using their Z ability. <clears throat> Overdrive random burst. That's a triple attack. Damn it. Not great. My triple attack's better.
Nice try, Cryo, but you're kind of screwed, bud. Die like the rest. And then, before the next monster wave comes, I need to kind of use my healing abilities here. So, hurry up and get out of this area, and I will use all my healing. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on. Before the next troop comes, they're on their way. Ah, I got one of them at least. Jinzo? Not Jinzo. Anybody but Jinzo. We need to actually paralyze Jinzo. Jinzo's ability, special ability, is to make it so that we're all confused. Yeah, Cyber Energy Shock is a attack that will confuse all of my guys so that they can only use their attacks and not their Z abilities. So, hence paralyze him to prevent that. So we know that this scenario has to end in failure ultimately because Joey can't beat Kaiba. Not saying he can't do it, like in reality or anything, but I mean, Joey can't beat Kaiba because this happens before Yugi and Kaiba's campaigns, so. I mean, Kaiba's campaign pretty much starts with this scenario crushing a rebellion. <coughs> we get sent to go take out the Black Dragon Squad and. Yugi's campaign starts with us just taking on the Empire. Man, look at my harpies. Almost level 96. Well, almost level 99. For the most part. One more. It's Marthus, that bastard. Hey, Kaiba, you've got a traitor! Oh, never mind. He's not gonna listen to me. <laughs> if only Kaiba knew, he may have listened. No items, doesn't matter anyways. Slaughter them all. Just like everyone else. Oh, a kill for soul. It's a good thing you're never gonna get to use that soul. Anybody else want to power up for their only move that they're only gonna have? Their only move they're gonna attack you, or their only ability, their only chance to do anything? Oh, you choose to guard with your only chance. <coughs> That's fine. You'll prolong your death, but you won't save yourself. You'll just make it take another turn for me to kill you. <clears throat> so long. So now the question is, who do we send to go kill Kaiba? It's a very good question. One with like what six six possible answers six different possibilities is that right one two three four five six yeah <clears throat> so we could send Nokuba that would be pretty just we could send Joey that's bullshit that Kaiba has his blue eyes he shouldn't <clears throat> let's send Nokuba that sounds like justice and just in case Nokuba can't handle it, let's send Tristan after him. And... If all else fails, we'll send Joey. <clears throat> so there. It's the final fight, Kaiba. Yeah, see, only Kaiba and Yugi are master of the Egyptian gods. So... It's kind of dumb that they have all three of the Egyptian gods and the third campaign isn't with somebody that actually has the capabilities to wield the Egyptian gods. It's just like, uh. 
I would have enjoyed a Merrick campaign, but instead we got a Joey campaign where we are doing a prequel and we get an item that we can't even use! Hooray! <clears throat> Hello, Kaiba. Did he didn't even have any sort of bullshit about how great he is and how he's gonna beat me and maybe if I had uh, Joey do the fighting that would have happened, but oh well, whatever. Focus fire on one. Probably should have picked the weakest one instead of the strongest one, but oh whatever. <coughs> Nokuba. Stop disobeying my orders. And die already! I'm sorry, sir, but who are you? I, I don't take orders from you. But you... But you're acting just like my brother, Mokuba. This is gonna be a pain. <coughs> Sorry. He's gonna use the polymerization at some point, and then we're screwed. I mean, ultimately, we do get only we then only have one monster to kill, but it's also Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which is a pain in the ass to kill. Do I get another turn before that dragon gets to go again? Please tell me I do. Please, somebody give me another turn. RNG gods, be with me. And, uh, nope. <laughs> Not a chance. Alright, blue eyes. 4,500 health. And he heals himself. After every attack. Lovely. <clears throat> I should have healed there. <coughs> Ultimate burst. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt everybody. Except for my Gishki. Or whatever her name is. What's your name again? Yeah, Megami, that's it. <coughs> oh, a crit! Just do that eight more times. Or, you know, six more times. Five times. I can't tell if he's attacking all three of us or just one. Both of his attacks are called Ultimate Burst. It's really stupid. Really terrible design on that part. Or, you know. Who's in charge of naming attacks in this game? They're terrible. One, because they don't know the goddamn names of the attacks of characters in this fucking show, game, and everything around it. I mean, Blue Eyes White Dragon's attack is White Lightning. I might just get some damage out on you. Oh! You're gonna be defeated by Nokuba! Get wrecked! Your downfall was bringing out your Blue Eyes Ultimate! <clears throat> Only had to deal with 4,500 attack or health instead of 9,000 health! You dumbass! Whew! <laughs> Just barely survived. What do you have to say now, Kaiba? You lose. <laughs> Not bad. Looks like you finally got some guts. But you're still as simple-minded as ever. Battles aren't won with strength. Strategy is everything. What the heck are you talking about? Joey, they got us. They got our hideout. It's been completely wiped out. What? <laughs> you walked right into my trap. While you were out here facing me, my men have been destroying your hideout and taking everything in it. Lady Luck does not smile on the naive. You should try to be more like Yugi. Not a saying that Kaiba would ever say. He would have seen this coming. Eh. 
What in the world ever led a bunch of fleas like you to think you could defeat me? However, I will let you live. Not something Kaiba would do either. I'll give you one chance to run away. What a fitting end for you. Running like a ta like running like a dog with your tail between your legs. <laughs> and that's Joey's end. It's a real great ending. It's real fantastic. It's because it's a prequel. Well, I have to hand it to Kaiba. He beat us good. But he seems content to let us get away. He hasn't chased us at all. You're right. He's probably buying, uh, busy trying to find his own way out of this world. You got that right. So what do we do now? The Black Dragon Squad has pretty much been wiped out. I mean, Jussel and Nokobo literally got burned to death by Kaiba. I mean, he, he literally just said blue eyes, white lightning, and they all kind of went and uh, annihilated him. They're, they're now charred corpses on the sidelines. Well, I don't think there's anything we can do, but stay low and look for Yugi and Bakura. Because Bakura's in here too, of course. We completely forgot about him. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. Either way, we'll need to get more allies if we're going to fight back. It's too obvious for us to move around as a group. The Empire is still looking for us, even if Kaiba's not. I think we should split up, gather more forces, and start over. Then it's settled. We all go our separate ways. For now, see you later. My, watch yourself out there. You too. And that's the end of Joey. And so the four parted company in order to elude capture and wait for their next chance to strike at the Empire. After they meet up with Yugi, that chance does come. Well, no shit, we all know that. <laughs> and that's Joey's camping. Why are we starting with Yugi? I understand that we're just going through like generic credits play for a third time, but <coughs> if Jussel and Nokuba are not in this goddamn list, I'm calling bullshit. <coughs> because they were characters too, damn it, even if they got literally burnt to death by Kaiba. <coughs> Seriously. Wow. Wow. They don't even get credits. Neither does, uh, Fizdis or Marthus or, I mean, Hishin got a fucking credit. <coughs> but not Marthus, not Fizdis, not, uh, oh god, I can't remember his name. It's, uh, the, the, the robed guy for... Yugi's campaign. Whatever his name was. I don't remember. It's been so long since I've done Yugi's campaign. But that was Joey's campaign. Short, sweet, and kind of worthless. The only thing it did was allow us to get those monsters that they just, they just had to hide them in there. To force us to play as Joey. Can't even use an Egyptian god in it. Even though they tempt you with it by having it in the ninth scenario of the 10th scenario campaign, and then having the 10th scenario, uh, something that's like, oh look, I could be able to use the Egyptian god since I got it in the ninth scenario. Oh, wait, no, Joey's not a goddamn user of the Egyptian gods, that's right. He's not a master of the Egyptian gods. He's a loser. No offense, Joey. That's just what the game's telling me, is that you're a fucking loser. <sighs> but that will do it for us today, guys. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave those in the comment section down below. If you want to keep up to date with all of my videos, you can subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook to become part of the conversation and also part of the voting for games I should play in the future. And as always, I'm DemonFire93, and I'll see you guys next time.